Hey everybody, I am super excited to be ramping up our content for Learn Livestock Photography. As we go into the month of January, we're getting into the heart of the month. And this month is about bulls and goals. I always get excited about this time of year because it means you start to get to see a lot of the herd sires that people are going to be looking at and evaluating to use in their herds. And that's super exciting for me. Uh, I think I always thought that was one of the coolest opportunities I had as a livestock photographer. Uh, also, everybody's wired into their goals in January. And so I'm hoping to ramp up my content and help you meet your goals as you get into the new year and focus on improving your photography skills. But today's video is about bulls. And I wanna talk about what makes bull photos unique. The first thing is obviously masculinity, right? Bulls need to have mass and power. They need to uh, really show off just how stout they are and how impressive they are as animals. The great bulls really impress you when they get in front of your lens because it's just like they fill up the frame with their power. This, the, 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 some of the characteristics we wanna see in bull photos are the obvious, right? Bulls have testicles, and so if you can get some sunlight down there in the flank and show those testicles, it always looks great. It always gives the bulls dimension. It always makes them look more masculine. That's not very easy to do during times of year when the sun gets high, but this time of year in January and February when it's deep in the heart of the winter and the days are short and the sun is low, uh, at least here in the U.S., then you can really get some great light down there on the lower side of those animals, into their bellies, into their flanks, and hopefully on these bulls, on their testicles as well. So that's the obvious, right? The other thing I think that makes bulls look unique, you know, uh, this is a summer photo of a mature bull and you can really see his top shape, but seeing the shape of the muscle in these bulls is also really important. But something I think that makes bulls look unique and is an important consideration is the shape of their neck, right? You can really see it on this big mature bull, the big crest in his neck, but even in this younger bull, you see there's some shape to his neck. That's not heifer shaped where it's just long and, and, and feminine, it's masculine, it has bulk, it has curvature in the other direction. And so you really wanna see that neck shape in these bulls, it tells you they're mature. And, and I, I think that uh, that masculinity uh, is something that you can control a little bit in how you present the bulls in terms of the posing and their, the way their head's looking and the way their head and neck is angled, right? I think those are some of the key parts that really show off masculinity in a photo. I think some of the other things to consider is presentation, right? We're in the heart of the winter, and so these cattle have winter hair. So they have a lot of hair, and that means that you really need to do a good job with your feeding and your presentation. One of the things that comes into play is torching, and a lot of big outfits and small alike will torch bulls. Uh, you see it especially in big groups. And working with somebody who really knows what they're doing when it comes to torching and presenting those bulls is really important. And there are tons of good people out there um, uh, to talk to about how to get these bulls looking right when you torch them. I think it, considering this masculinity that you wanna show and how much hair these animals have at this time of year, you can really, you can really make a big difference if you do a good job with the presentation on the bulls. I think especially as you get into spring as well, you can start to see more patchy hair with shedding. Uh, in the winter time, you can also have patchy hair because of lice, which can be an issue if you're uh, torching and, and treating that. That can be something that you have to work around. So you have to think about all those things. Uh, when it comes to presentation, presenting these bulls in the heart of the winter is a little bit different than what we might think of uh, the rest of the year and some of the other cattle that we might be preparing to take photographs of. I think the third thing is handling. 
And somebody asked me recently, you know, do bulls handle really different than heifers, than calves, than cows do? And my answer is not really, but my exception, I think every individual animal is unique and you can get into different groups of animals that you identify, well, these that really act this way and these really act this way. And bulls do act bully. There are things about a bull, uh, they'll be stubborn, they'll wanna hold their heads down, they'll really wanna sniff the ground and find out what other animals have been around. They do some things like that. But overall, kind of the process of getting them right and getting them photographed is still the same as what we do with all the other animals. What my one exception I was gonna say, is when you get into some of those long yearlings like fall bulls that are held over for a spring sale, you need to pay attention because those guys are big and rugged and they're ready to do their job and they may not like you being in the middle of their business. So you do kind of get into that position on those, on those older bulls, those kind of two-year-old bulls, but but uh, mostly uh, when you're working bulls, it's more or less the same as when you're working anything else in terms of how you handle them, how you handle the picture pen. So those are my thoughts about what makes bull photos unique. I'd love to hear your questions in the comments below.